Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check uh, release from CMK it is made in 148 scale but it copies truck it's a Unimog U406 Docker so it's a Bundeswehr military aircraft tack with tow bar and you can see it on the box art so that's basically a resin set which might be handy with your aircraft kit in the same scale and here we have a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review we are going to open it and check everything closer first of all box size is not that big here you can see comparison with my hand and it's quite wide surprisingly but let's not forget that this is a truck in 148 scale so it shouldn't be huge in size then there is uh, nothing on the other side so we can move on straight to opening this box I can guess that it should be opened like this yeah so here is what we have inside so we have several plastic bags which are interconnected together as you can see and then on the bottom we have clear plastic sprue decals and some other elements but we will check them a bit later first of all I would like to start with resin parts and it will be quite interesting because plastic bag is sealed so just give me a second I will open everything and we will start our video review in the meantime I would like to remind you that you can support us also financially we have special support button on our website so if you would like to send us few dollars which will be used for new potent video equipment or maybe we will buy some new kit to be reviewed on our YouTube channel you can just use this button and it is done via PayPal so it should be quite safe and fast and of course you can also press the like button so that our video will be visible to others as well so first of all we are going to start with the biggest part in this kit here it is <laughs> it is surprisingly light because it's more of a uh, shell of this car so first of all we have here uh, shut doors so it won't be possible to open them here you can see the front side and here you can check rear of this cab and here is the opposite side and here what we have inside of course you will have to cut out all this resin flash in the windows because it will be replaced with clear parts so it will be a bit of tedious work but it is really um, worth doing let's say and part itself is not that small I was expecting smaller size here you can see comparison with my hand so there is some plenty I would say plenty of space to do some weathering so it will be a nice choice for these modelers who would like to play with shades or play with colors on this truck next we go on with four panel let's zoom in back so it comes as a single piece part and here we have just plain surface but it's not as crucial as it might be because we have doors shut so it won't be possible to show what is hidden inside you should keep it in mind because it might save some time on other elements in this truck next we go on with road wheels and these are a bit surprising to me because this is a resin kit and still we do not have any writings on the walls so you will have to do with these wheels but they have really nice tire I mean here if I bring it closer now you should be able to see it so with some weathering it should look really good we have some holes from the resin casting so maybe it will be better to now uh, hide it with uh, some dirt maybe with some dust because of course an airfield where it will find some dirt but uh, trying to fix it with putty I think it's just a waste of time because this part will be barely visible so it's better to think on how to mask it visually I mean you can say that it's really strange method to do but it's a uh, time saving it's better to spend some time on different things than just fixing some small holes on the wheels next we go on with drivetrain here it comes as a single piece part as you can see everything is promoted together so you won't be able you won't have to attach any separate pieces so you just clean it off and install under the truck but it's really cool because uh, I mean what we have here out of the box it looks amazing and the only thing required from you is to carefully paint it and have it installed into the truck okay next we go on with 
something different. I'm not even sure where it will go. I can guess it will be on the side of the truck. So as you can see we have fuel tank and we have hero leg rests. But correct me if I'm wrong and of course we will see in assembly manual if I'm wrong. So just my guess on what it copies here. Next we go on with another section. This one should be in the rear. These are weights which are usually placed in the rear section, I guess. As you can see they are molded together so it's just a matter of separating them off the resin frame and starting, maybe in starting straight away, as far as you can see it should be possible. Okay. Next we go on with wheel arches. Here you can see that they are also pre-molded as a quite thin parts, one piece elements and with tail lights on the rear so it will be worth painting them with some sharp brush and clear paint. Next we continue with just give me a second. So here as far as you can guess we have the rear wheel smart guard but again we will have to check it but note the level of promoted details we have them out of the box so it's just a uh, really nice to have it just like this. Next we continue with the seats which are molded as a one piece element too. Not that I would say convincing but it should be enough for 148 scale. Next we have front view arches. These come in two separate bits. So here they are. Again single piece parts, quite thin ones and they are ready to be installed, just separate them off the resin base and glue them into the place. Next we have another view arch. This one comes with some oxygen bottles and again some leg rests as far as you can guess. Okay. Next we go on with minor bits. So surprisingly there are a lot of small elements in this truck. So here, for example, you can see first parts, then we have more seats because it's a um, twin cap, that's why. Next we continue with this front thing for the towing bar. Here we have, I guess that's also will be used for the towing bar, but we will have to check. Maybe it's a wheel axle, but it's small for wheel axle in my opinion. And here we have another one. So maybe these are wheel axles, who know. Okay, we move this to the side. And we continue with the last section of this plastic bag. So here we get really interesting parts because some of them are broken. And I'm not sure why. But it's just a resin flash, so no worries. Here you can see that it's uh, slightly broken. And as you can see it's pre-shaped, maybe that's why, because it's everything packed all together. So some extra pressure did it business. Here we have some side view mirrors. They are not provided as a clear parts as you can see, but that's okay because you can copy it with chrome paint. It should be uh, fine. Next we continue with some control elements. These are really thin parts. So be careful with their installation. And next, as far as you can guess, we start with towing bar parts. So I will show them one by one. Here we have some minor panels. These parts obviously will go on to the front cap. Here we have the uh, front screen wiper, steering wheel and some other additional elements which will be used for fine detailing of the front cap. This is a hook for the towing bar. Here it is. Next we continue with more of towing bar parts. Another one here. And you can see that resin flash broke off. Not that cool. Even though everything was packed with foam as you saw, still some parts broke off. Here we continue with wheels for the towing bar. And here we have actually bars for the towing bar so it will be a uh, combi combination of three separate sections all together. Okay so we can move on to the side. Next we have clear plastic bag which will be used for 
front cab and headlamps so here you can see it and that's really cool that we get here the combination of plastic and resin so uh, for clear parts it will um, ensure some better appearance not um, as difficult as for example application of the film so I guess some modelers will be happy to see such bonus and next we have also small decals sheet here I don't see any decals for the front cap no dials nothing so if you would like to copy it you have to do everything with your own hands and tools and another thing of course is the assembly manual so just give me a second assembly manual is printed in color so we can zoom out a bit now you should be able to see it here we don't have any short history note we have parts map and straight away we go on with this assembly process so everything starts with front cap as you can see here then we continue with main frame and rear section gets assembled separately as far as you can see then you combine everything together install some um, interior panels on the frame not in the cab I guess then you just yeah cover it with cap from the top and then you assemble this towing tack as you can see it can be installed both from front and from the rear here we have several marking options there are three of them as far as you can see and here we have some other resin keys from CMK some of them were reviewed on our YouTube channel so I really recommend to check them, for example this truck was really nice and this weasel. And of course I would be happy to hear your opinion about such kit. Uh, would you use such addition with your aircraft kit in the same scale? Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.